If you're a designer, an architect, a builder, a property developer, an engineer, a surveyor, an interior designer, an illustrator, or anyone else whose job involves drawings, or drawing stuff, or if you make things either professionally or as a hobby, then I've got a very clever gadget here that could save you a huge amount of time. It's quite possibly the coolest and most feature-packed ruler I have ever come across. OK, so that's not a very high bar to clear, but bear with. So let's kick off with the basics. Above all, the Neo ruler here is a ruler. So how well does it rule? Well, hopefully a little bit better than this idiot. But let's find out. Well, would you take a look at that? If you're looking for something that'll help you draw straight lines, this could be just what you're looking for. It's also got a steel edge on one side, so that's good if you want to cut something like, I don't know, cardboard with a Stanley knife. Still, so far it's not any better than the steel ruler that I had before. So what else does it do? Well, once you've charged it up, which takes about an hour and a half with the normal charger, or a quarter of that if you've got a Hyperjuice 245 watt gallium nitride charger like mine, and you've calibrated it, which takes about a second, you could do all sorts of clever things. First of all, you can select different units of measurement, millimetres, centimetres, metres, inches, or inch FR. For a split second there, I wonder whether that was a French inch. Do the French have their own inches, I ask myself, like the Americans have their own gallons. I guess if Napoleon had anything to do with it, a French inch would be rather larger than anyone else's. But then I realised that an inch FR is of course an inch fr for fractions of an inch. Now something I didn't know until today is that the reason why people use fractions of an inch is that it's more precise than decimal gradations, which makes it useful for engineers. Another reason imperial measurements are often better than metric for most people is that they're easier to visualise. I mean, I know exactly what you mean by a foot, <coughs> but I do have to think quite a lot harder to understand what you mean by 30.48 centimetres. Anyway, if you're someone who needs to measure things in fractions of an inch, this thing is miles ahead of a normal steel ruler. Actually, it's a lot quicker to measure all sorts of things, even in centimetres. You don't have to count how many millimetres something is beyond the nearest centimetre or half centimetre as you do with a normal ruler. But that's probably not going to swing it for the very few people I know who are not engineers. This might, though. It's called the divider, and I think it's my favourite feature on this ruler. You use it to divide anything into equal widths very quickly. So let's say you want to divide this piece of paper into six equal strips or columns. You just measure the width, set it to divide by six, and Bob's your uncle. A little LED light, I don't know if you can see it there, measures the start of each column. Alternatively, let's say you were doing some woodwork or making the piñata for your child's birthday party and you needed to divide a piece of paper into 20 mm strips. Then you just set the column width to 20 mm. Now the Neo ruler also has built-in scaling which allows you to draw things or measure them at scale very quickly. I think the only time I've had cause to draw something to scale since leaving school 50 years ago was when we had some building work done on our house. So I'm not sure this is a feature I'm going to use all that often. But I would have thought it would be a very useful tool for anyone who's not using CAD. Anyway, just to demonstrate, here's a drawing of the front face of our house drawn by an architectural designer. Let's see how accurate this thing is. So I've set it to uh, 1 in 50, the scale of the drawing. I'm going to measure the porch and I just align the pointer on the left of the porch there. And there we go. You can see it's uh, lit up with the blue LEDs and it says 2.69 meters. Let's see how accurate that is. So it turns out the wall's a little bit wonky and it does rather depend on where you measure it. 
but it's between 2.69 and 2.79, so the architectural designer got it right. Finally, this ruler's biggest party trick. Now, it is something that's a little bit above my pay grade, but I was talking to a property developer only this morning, and he told me this would make his life a lot easier. The problem it solves is what happens when you print a technical drawing at a different size to the original. For example, if you print an architect's A3 drawing on an A4 sheet of paper. Or worse still, you take a photograph of an architect's drawing and then print that out on an A4 piece of paper. Now it's no longer a 1 in 50 scale drawing, in fact it's impossible to tell what the scale is. So you can't easily tell what any of the real life dimensions are. But if you know just one of the real life dimensions, the Neo ruler has a custom scale setting, so it'll tell you what all of the others are. So in this case, I know that my porch measures 2.69 meters wide, so all I have to do is set the pointer to the width of the porch, tell the Neo ruler that it's 2.69 meters wide, and now it calculates that the new scale is 1 in 173.3. And that means I can tell what all of the other measurements are on the drawing. So the house is, there we go, 28.92 metres wide. You can also buy a number of accessories for your Neo ruler, which will take your measuring to dizzying new heights. I'm not sure there's a word in the English language to describe the piece of plastic on a digital ruler which you align with whatever it is you're measuring, but whatever it's called, it's interchangeable on the Neo ruler. You can buy a small lens which will allow you to measure more accurately, or a pen holder to be able to draw more accurately. You can also buy a caliper attachment which will allow you to measure the dimensions of stuff. The diameter of pipes, for example. But if there's one thing I do less often than making a scale drawing, it's measuring the diameter of pipes. So I didn't buy that accessory. Last of all, no self-respecting ruler would really call itself a ruler without having an app. And this one is no exception. You can use it to store your measurements and you could take a photograph of something and then store the measurements on the photo. But the app is a little bit unintuitive. I mean, it's not entirely clear how you delete an old project, and I'm not entirely sure what this means. Plus, it crashed on me a few times, and some of the navigation doesn't work. So there we have it. Now I really can go and rule the world. All I need to do is go and find more things to measure. Ah, my mug. 9.54 centimetres. Who knew? By the way, if you're someone who draws stuff, like an architect or a designer, you'll also need something to draw on, in which case you might like to watch my review of the mole standing desk I work at, which I shall put a link to over there. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.